Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got system of equations a b equals to 200, b times c equals to 700, and c times a equals to 800. And now we are going to find the value of a square plus b square plus c square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our action plan. We will not find the value of A, B, C individually, but we would rather take a different uh, route. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this very first equation, A, B equals to 200. And here I have copied it down. And now let's focus on this second equation, B, C equals to 700. And here I have copied it down as well. And finally, let's focus on this uh, third equation c times a equals to 800 and here's our third equation as well and now let's go ahead and manipulate these three equations let's focus on this very first one i am going to multiply both sides by c and on this side c as well so therefore this is going to become a b c equals 200 c and now let's focus on this next equation. I am going to multiply both sides by a on this side and a on this side as well. So therefore, this equation is going to become a, b, c equal to 700a. And finally, let's focus on this equation. I am going to multiply both sides by b on this side and b on this side as well. Therefore, this is going to become a, b, c equals to 800 b. And now we can see that a, b, c is the same for all the, these three equations. And if we compare all these one, we can equate all these three equations as well. So therefore, we can write uh, this one as I'm going to write down this one, 700a equals to, then this one, 800b equals to 200c. And now let's focus on these numbers, 700, 800, and 200 the least common denominator or sometimes we call it least common multiple of all these three numbers is going to be 5600 and now let's go ahead and divide all these one by their least common denominator 5600 so i'm going to write down 5600 divided by this one divided by 5600 and divided by 5600 as well across the board and now we can see this first fraction is going to reduce to if we take out these zeros so this is going to become a divided by 8 equals to let's go ahead and reduce this one as well so that is going to give us b divided by 7 equal to let's take care of this one as well so this reduces to c divided by 28 and now let me go ahead and equate all these equations equal to some constant k. Then we can equate them individually. So this I can write a divided by 8 equals to k. Whereas the other one, this one is going to give us b divided by 7 equals to k. And finally this one, c divided by 28 equals to k as well and now i can write this k as a fraction by just putting one underneath likewise over here one underneath one underneath as well it doesn't make any difference whatsoever now let's go ahead and cross multiply so therefore if we cross multiply we are going to get a equals to 8 k this is our first value of a and let's cross multiply on this one as well so that is going to give us b equals to 7 k and finally this if we cross multiply this thing c is going to be equal to 
28 okay and here's our next step let's focus on this very first equation a b equals to 200 and here i have copied it down and let's go ahead and replace this a by 8k and this b by this 7k so therefore after this substitution we are going to get 8k times 7k equals to 200 and if we multiply the left hand side we're going to get 56k square equals to 200 and if we divide both side by 56 this cancels out so our k square turns out to be equal to if we reduce this fraction that is going to give us 25 divided by 7 and this is our value for k square and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the value of this a square plus b square plus c square where a equals to 8k b equal to 7k and c equals to 28k where k square is 25 divided by 7 and here i have copied down that expression let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so a in our case is 8k and then i'm going to square it plus b in our case is 7k and then i'm going to square it plus c in our case is 28k square it as well let's go ahead and simplify it 8k square is going to become 64k square plus uh, this is going to give us 49k square and this is going to give us 784k square and now let's go ahead and add these like terms 64k square plus 49k square plus 784k square if we add them that is going to give us 897k square but we know our k square value is 25 divided by 7 so let's go ahead and substitute that one so 897 and i'm going to replace k square by 25 divided by 7 and if we multiply them we are going to get 22425 divided by 7 so that's the value of a square plus b square plus c square turns out to be a 22425 divided by 7 and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye